Now, you would have all heard of Power, the game hitting record numbers within weeks of release. Today, I'm going to be trying to spend 100 days in Power World, but with a little bit of a twist. Now, I'm going to be spending these 100 days in hardcore mode. If I die in game, the entire run is over. So I have to try and survive 100 days in Power World without dying once. It's going to be a very difficult challenge, but I'm sure that I will be able to complete this. And here we are inside of the world of Power World. It's time to create our character, though. So we're going to go there. Let's go with like a bit of a tan skin color there. Some beefier arms going on there. We're looking good. Okay. Leg day as well. Never skip leg day. There we go. Perfect. I'm liking our character. I can't lie. Let's start the game. We're jumping into the world of Power World. Ho oh, ho. I'm so excited for this game. Make sure you guys drop a like if you have played this game. At the time of playing it, it's one of the biggest games out there right now. It's crazy. And boy, can I not wait for this game. Oh ho ho. We've got our character right here. What's a bit different about this 100 days compared to our normal Pokemon ones is that we're spending 100 days in this, but with hardcore mode. So if we die, we we are completely done. We have to restart the entire series. So we got to be very, very careful and not to make any mistakes and get murdered by all of the pals in the world. And I'll be honest, it's going to be an interesting one. So we need to get geared up real quick and we'll get ourselves situated with a couple tools right now. Here we go. Here comes a pickaxe and we need an axe. We need a bit of stone and a bit of wood. Perfect. Okay. So we do also want to make ourselves up a torch. So the rates are increased a little bit on this just to make it a little bit easier for me during the 100 days. A lot of this game is very time-based. And since we don't have a lot of time, we need to be very, very careful on what we decide to go ahead and build. So I have upped the rates a decent amount so that we can make this video possible for you guys. Now we've got ourselves some Paldium Fragments which are crucial in making a lot of stuff in Power World. I am also going to head down here real quick because I think, yep, there is indeed Castaway's Journal, which I think can tell us a little bit of lore about Power World. We ain't interested in that, though, because we ain't got time to be reading. We got to be catching a bunch of pals. Now, while we're sat here crafting up a bunch of arrows, getting ready to catch a bunch of pals. I just wanted to sort of go through a couple of our goals. So for this 100 days, I want to take on every single boss tower that there is in Power World. So that's four different boss towers I need to take out and discover the mystery behind the giant tree. And I also want to get myself a four-star pal. And listen, I don't know if I'm going to be able to complete all these goals, but I'm going to try my very, very best. We have pretty much made up all of the pal spheres that we can make right now. Let's go ahead and catch our first pal. Come on, we're going to catch ourselves a Lamble. I missed the arrow, that's awkward. Boom, 100% catch rate. Let's go. And a chickpea as well, or chicky pea. Chicky pea? We're going to just, basically, we need to catch as much as we possibly can. Besides the point, we have caught a bunch of pals already, which is absolutely amazing. And I am so excited. And my weapon is broken. Now, I'm pretty sure if we throw out our Lambo, he's going to come over here and start crafting with us. If we stop, he's still going to keep crafting for us. So this is the start of something interesting. Let's just say that. Also, I do see that amazing looking pal over there that I really want to catch, but... I'll be honest, I don't think I'm high enough level for that just yet. So thank you, Lambo, for helping me out, my friend. Let's get ourselves one of these. A Cativita. Cativia? Oh, um, never mind. Uh, Lambo had other ideas. I guess uh, he's the only one that wants to be captured by me. Let's get you back in there. And we catch ourselves a, a Cat Eva. I'm going to call it a Cat Eva. Oh, a Nightwing. Oh, I want that so bad. Okay, we have to go for that. It's not going to be an easy catch, but we're going to try our very best to get one. Come on. Boom. Okay. There's some Mel Packers as well. I just want everything. Gah. <laughs> oh, no. I do no damage. Oh, no. Oh, ooh, I don't know about this. Oh, big dodge. Okay, we're going to try our very best. Okay, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, maybe actually, you know what? Go Lambo. Oh, we need to be very careful. We need to be very, very, very careful. Go Lambo. Okay, Lambo does actually pretty good damage, actually. No, this is good. I'm almost out of arrows, though. Come on. Lambo, we need, you need, we need, we're going to need you to clutch up big time right here, my friend. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no, I'm out of arrows. Go Lambo, go. Okay. Wait, that might be low enough. 30% catch. Come on. 50%. No. Okay, go in. Woo. Come on. 76, 77. 100 percent let's go we caught a nightwing Ooh. okay so we found a chest just chilling out here let's open it up come on please give me something good 
Ooh, wait, a copper key. And oh my gosh. Oh, Firefox. Go, 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 go. Doing some trick shots out here. Come on. Wait, why is Lambo over here? No, go sphere. Okay, that's 100%. Easy. Let's go. Woohoo. We got ourselves a Fox Parks. And there's a boss a mama rest right here. We definitely are not going to be messing with that anytime soon. But that is a good time to show you what I mean on the map. As you can see here, we have found a boss pal called Mama Rest. It now picks up on the map. So every time we discover a new boss, we'll see it pop up on the map. And then we can go from there, basically. And find as many a bosses as we possibly can. Oh, there's a new there's a new pal. Oh, we got a mega sphere. And oh my wait, what is this? It looks just like a Gumi. A Gumi with a plant on its head. I mean, uh, nothing like I mean it's yeah, it's just a you know, a little sludge bomb thing. Yes, I want you. But you need to put your tongue away because that's gross. There we go. We caught ourselves a like gamos or something like that. Gamus. Gamus. Sounds like Italian or something. Gamos. Uh, if we fight one, will it go? Will all of them attack me? Probably. Oh, no. Yeah, they all want me. Okay, we need to be very, very careful. Put him away. Boom. And perfect. Okay, so we caught ourselves two penguinies right there. Also, there was an adventure we just ran past. Apparently, you can catch them. Um, yeah, we ain't going to be catching any people. Not today, anyway. Because um, that's that's weird. You don't catch people. They, you know, people aren't, are meant to be caught. Lambo's made himself dizzy. Bro. <laughs> oh, perfect. 100% catch rate. Let's go. Looks like we're coming into a new area now. This place is looking amazing. <gasps> oh, my gosh. A deer. A deer. We need a deer. Go, Lambo. Attack the deer. Okay, maybe we're not ready for a deer just yet. Oh, wait. Hang on. We might be. Wait. Are they going to... Oh my gosh, wait. If they attack each other, when it gets low, I could just sweep in for the catches. I mean, don't mind if I do. Go. Okay, come on. 60% catch rate. Surely I've got this in the bag. Come on. Yes. No way we're going to catch another fox as well. No. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on. Oh. <gasps> Yes, we got it. Let's go. Honestly, we're catching a lot right now, and I'm loving it. There's a lot of the cool guys, like the monkeys over there, that we need to catch as well still. But I think what I want to do first is prioritize finding somewhere to live because we need to put down a power box, which is basically our base. Although I do kind of want to see what this is right here. So this Reigns Syndicate Tower. Oh, okay. So let me just check the tutorial as well. Build a power box. We haven't done that yet. Access the power box. Haven't done that yet. Open tab. Uh, let's feed ourselves. There we go. Give ourselves some work speed. Capture five Lambos. We've captured two so far. Okay, so we do need to capture more Lambos. There's a gum here. Hello, gum. <gasps> oh, what are you? Oh, I want whatever's in that cage. How do I get it? Come on, Lamb. I haven't got any arrows left, so it's all you, my friend. Get them. Yes. <laughs> Come on. Go ball. Like, I know I said I wasn't going to catch a human, but like, you know, if he catches, it catches. Oh my God, no way. No way. No way. No way. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, this pal looks so cute. Oh, we need to get it. Come on. Hey, we saved the pal. It was a Vixie. Oh, okay. Okay. Very, very nice indeed. Okay, let's head back to the main area because we do need to catch more Lambos as well. And now I, I did know about this certain thing and I'm, I'm thinking it might be a good idea to do. Um, so basically, there's a glitch right now where you can catch the tower bosses. So I'm thinking... Hang on, let me just... Can I whack you? Okay, yes. I've got... Okay, I've got a wanted level like GTA. Uh, go. Wrong one. Uh, this one. Go, 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 go. Okay, what we're going to do is... This is very risky, but I'm hoping it'll work because we're in hardcore. We cannot die, so we need to hope and pray that this works out for us. So if we head on in once you get a wanted level... Now we're in to the boss fight. The first ever tower. As you can see, though, there are the, the guards in the background now. This is perfect for what we need. We've got range. She's looking awesome. She's looking amazing. I'm quite jealous of her style. She looks pretty pretty cool. Now, this is what we want. This beast of a pal. Look at him. <laughs> Zoe and Grizzbolt. In order to get ourselves Mr. Grizzbolt right here, well, we're not meant to be able to catch him, but if we can get a guard to real quick shoot them. Okay, wait, they did it. They did it. Okay, okay. Wait, and then he'll stop. When he stops, that's where we need to do something. Okay, he stops. And in the back, boom! We did the glitch and we catch the boss, Zoe and Grisbolt. Now we just have to figure out how we get out of here. Oh no, oh no. Wait, can we not leave? Oh no, because it thinks we're in the... Oh no, oh no! Oh no, we're going to have to actually... Oh no, we can't get out. Okay, wait, hang on. No, no, we're going to have to just dodge for 10 minutes straight. Okay. Oh my gosh. 
We made it, guys. We made it out. I wonder if there's actually anyone, uh, like a new pal up here that we can actually go ahead and get. Um, I can't tell. Is there a new pal? No, there isn't even a new pal in here. What is this? Let's release the pal. That it doesn't exist. Let's go. We unlocked nothing. <laughs> um, what are you? Huh? Go land ball. <laughs> oh my god, it's gonna blow up. Oh my god, it's gonna blow up. What the? F <laughs> Wait, what? Why did he blow up? Oh my gosh. No, he's doing it too. The chicken's gonna blow up. Uh, why is everything blowing up? What is going on? Hello, sir. We want you. Corn chicken. Bomb chicken. Why is he gonna explode? I really need to find a place to live, I'll be honest. So let's have a little look around. I kind of want to base near an area that is very rich in metals. Okay, I think I may have found my area that I'm going to base. There's only really one entrance into here, which is through uh, this bit over here. We've got a lot of metal and there's quite a lot of flat, a flat area here too so let's go ahead and place down our pal box real quick uh we're gonna place it let's go with right here hopefully that will cover our entire area and now that we've got that as you can see i mean we got we got the zoe and the grizzball that's what i'm saying you know Okay, right. So we need to put all of the guys that have been defeated away inside the box. Let's grab out our strongest guy, Mr. Mr. Grisbolt. Um, and it's hilarious because as you can see right here, if we throw her out, we actually now have the boss, which is is, is crazy. I'll be honest. It's kind of crazy. I mean, we've got a syndicate thug as well. So let's have a look at him. Yo, wait, what? We actually have... Oh my god, that is hilarious. That is so funny. Let's put this guy inside of the power box right here. He should start mining, I think. If we pick him up and we throw him at the rock, he's been assigned to copper ore. Will he mine it? I don't really know. Okay, well, he's just he just sort of exists now in our area. You can upgrade your base by making certain things. So for that, we obviously need to go in here and we need to learn a bunch of new gear and stuff. Here we go. That will do for now. We've got a ranch block right here, which needs a bit more wood. We've got our wooden chest, which we are going to place over here. Actually, you know what? Let's place it right next to the... Place it right here. There we go. And it looks like the cat wants to come over to help us build. Let's wait for her to come over. There she is. <laughs> Smacking with the little hammer. That's so cute. Hey. Thank you, Kativa. Now, if we go back in here, we can now upgrade the base. Boom. There we go. We can now put two of our pals inside of the base. So we're going to put in our deer because I'm pretty sure the deer does actually just mine a bunch of trees all at the same time. Now, I also want to create myself a ranch. Now, the reason for this, it's pretty simple. There is a certain pal that we can get hold of that essentially creates us infinite power spheres at the start of the game i can't lie it's so funny having with the boss pal with us right here this is actually so good okay so now what we want to do is let's take out the deer for now and we're going to put in a vixie right here so this vixie has a partner skill called dig here Sometimes digs up items from the ground when assigned to the ranch, which means that this Vixie is going to basically dig up a bunch of power spheres for us. So we don't have to continuously make a bunch of them, which is amazing. Okay, now if we place a structure right here, that should be the perfect spot right there. Perfect. Okay, so now we can actually get up onto this top area. I'm thinking that we make a house up here. Have it sort of looking over the cliff edge here. Oh, we do not want one there. Let's get rid of that. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to make a little house up and then we shall be back to continue hunting for some more pals. All right, there we go. So we have created a, a little area right here for our base location. We've got a little staircase here. Yes, I know it's a bit scuffed. All right, leave me alone. And we've got the ranch over there, which is creating a bunch of pals for actually. So let's head on over to Mrs. Vixie right here. Look at that. Easy. Free power spheres, no worries at all. Now what we need to go ahead and do is put down a bunch of beds as close as I can together. There we go. And then our pals will have somewhere to sleep and they're not going to get stressed out like it says on the right-hand side right there. Look at that. We're all crafting one each. How cute. For me, I do kind of want to live up here. I think it'd be quite nice. Uh, where's the bed? Okay, so I'm going to put my bed down right up here. I think it looks quite nice like this. Just a little area to call my own. While Grisbot and Zoe just, you know, continuously clear out 
every last tree known to man. All right, so we've basically had all of our guys just over the night, just mining up a bunch of ore and smelting it all up right here. So we can now afford to make the high quality workbench, which is amazing. So let's go ahead and plop this guy down right here. Perfect. And now we can go ahead and create ourselves some metal tools. Just have to mine some of this up. We'll be back once we've managed to create ourselves a set of metal tools. Oh, okay. So I was just gathering up some stone and I have come across a Tombat. So let's go ahead and throw out Zoe and Grisbolt and we'll see if we can actually catch ourselves a Tombat. Come on. Well, I just hope it doesn't kill though because Zoe and Grisbolt are very, very strong, although that just went straight through them. Okay, that's a lot of damage. Bro, 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 chill. Oh my gosh. No way, come on. No. Come on. Ow. That hurt. Come on, please. Tombat. No. And it's just deflecting the shots. Oh no. Okay, we need to get him lower, but we can't use Grisbolt because he will just murder the Tombat. Okay, let's try now. Show me the money. Oh, no. We're low. Woo. Okay, wait, that should catch. That should catch, right? How is that not catching? 40%? Oh, and we almost just took a fat L there. Oh, no. Come on, please. Yes. There we go. We catch ourselves a Tombat. That's pretty huge, and I'll tell you why. So, we need the best piles possible to put inside of our pal box, but... Tombat right here, as you can see, has two mining. So if we put him into the power box, and there you go. Perfect. Okay, so now he just permanently mines up iron ore for us, or copper ore, as it says on here, which is absolutely amazing, which means that we don't have to continuously grind away and farm up a bunch of metal. And there we go. Okay, so we have created both a metal pickaxe and a metal axe. Let's acquire that bad boy right there. Perfect. So what I might do is real quick make up a stone pit. Now, how the stone pit works is it will literally just be a object that sits at the base and the pals can just mine away at it whenever they wish they want to, which means that we will have infinite stone at the base. Now, it isn't the fastest thing in the world. Like when I say infinite, it's not like we instantly have as much stone as we could ever wish for. But it does mean that we're going to have a bunch more stone and we don't have to mine it all the time, which is the perfect part because it means we can go on adventure. And while we're out adventuring, the POWs are back at the base, mining away, getting us all the resources we could possibly dream of. You know, we're making the POWs do stuff while we're gone. No, just don't think about it, all right? We don't need to talk about it. it, it yeah. It's just one of those things, you know, the, the game is the game at the end of the day. So, okay, perfect. So Tomba is going over to mine the stone up for us, which is perfect because as you can see here, we don't have to do a single thing. And this man right here is just creating a bunch of stone for us. And I know it doesn't seem like a lot right now, but over time, that is going to be a huge amount of stone, which is perfect. And it means we can go ahead and create more things for the base so that we can upgrade our power box, for example, like the Statue of Power. So I want to place down the Statue of Power. Now, I want the Power Statue in a good place because it is what we're going to use to upgrade our pals and also what we're going to use to upgrade ourselves. We can use the Lift Monk effigies that we collect to up our capture power just like that. We can also enhance our pals by using pal essence but obviously we don't have any of that right now and uh, there we go okay so what we've done is create a deer saddle which means that we can now go ahead and actually ride on our deer so let's get him out of the pc right there i'm saying the pc it's the power box but look at this we can now ride on our deer which is amazing Ooh, okay, so we have found a boss right here under the name of Chillet. Let's see how we do. Okay, actually, we should probably uh, come off of the deer. Deer isn't very strong right now. We need to remember that. And we're going to throw out Zoe and Grisbolt, our boss, and let's see what they can do to this guy. Okay, no, we do big damage. Okay, this is insane. No, oh, chill, 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 chill. Oh my gosh, almost killed the boss. Yes, come on, there we go. We catch a Chillet, our second, technically second boss, because we did kind of, you know, get Zoe and Grisbolt. But anyways, we need to talk about that. Let's catch ourselves a Tansy as well. Ow, you kind of hurt. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, we need to get out of it. Whew, Tansies, chill out, my guys. Oh, being in hardcore, this is actually so much scarier. Oh, we actually do somehow survive that. Okay, well, now that we can actually travel around decently fast i think what i'm gonna go ahead and do is just run around and catch myself a, a bunch of the pals around here so like tifan oh hang on a minute they're fighting each other oh no 
We've caused them to fight each other. <laughs> Wait, hang on. This could be good, actually. Boom. Perfect. We catch ourselves a Tifa. It was super easy. Perfect. Okay, cool. What is this? Okay, I've just come across this super weird little, like, mine area. So I figured maybe, you know what? Let's head, let's head inside and see what we can find. Hello, anyone here? Right. Well, this isn't nemesing as hell, is it? That... <laughs> mm. Right, okay. Um, right, well, he seems friendly. I just don't want to die. Uh, okay, let's let's have a chat to him. I trade any kind of power, whether it's stolen powers or even prohibited types, take a look. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, okay. So we can buy and sell our pals with this guy. Um, I don't really feel like I've got anything of value to you right now, though, my friend. Uh, so for now, we are going to leave it. But it is very good to know that he is here. Ooh. Ooh, okay, so we have come across what seems to be like a dungeon. It is a dungeon. Okay, wait, and we are heading in to uh, the dungeon. Let's see uh, what we can find inside of here. Ooh, a Kilimari. I'm assuming that's meant to be like Calamari or something like that, but that's pretty cool. Oh, no. <sighs> well, it was pretty cool until it got murdered brutally. Um, But we can't kill these guys in one hit. What is this? Get away, boy. Ow! Oh, you know what? You're getting caught for that. Why is he whack it right? If they don't catch it here, we're going to antler smack them. Bang! Perfect. Okay, let's continue through our dungeon endeavors. Hopefully, we can... Oh, wait a second. I want one of these. Let's throw out my Vixie because it probably won't do a lot of damage, which is kind of helpful here. And then we'll go ahead and try and catch this bad boy. Whoop. There we go. Cure. Come on. Okay, we caught it. There we go. Uh, let's continue through here and continue looking for the torches in which direction we need to go. So there's three directions from what I can see here. Yeah, so this way's blocked off. Okay. That room looks pretty big through there. So we're going to check through this one first. Anything through here? No. Oh, wait, no, there is. There's so many different rooms. Okay, we're going to go back this way for a minute. I'm so, like, confused on where to go. I have no clue what I am doing in this dungeon right now. But we are going to try our best to find a way out. I'm assuming that's the whole point in it is that you, it's like a maze and you have to find your way out of the dungeon. I don't know if there's a boss that we need to defeat or anything like that. But hopefully there is because that would be fun. Although saying that, I may have just come across uh, what looks like a boss room. Oh, no. Wait, it's not a big boss, is it? Okay. Uh, nice, I guess. Uh, let's just get our deer out. Um, and we're going to stone cannon the big Mao. There we go. Boom. Big damage. Let's charge in. Let's go. Woo. Ow, ow, ow. We be careful. Okay, we've just murdered the other two by accident. But we're trying to get this boss Mao right now. Let's go for the stone cannon. There we go. We're just zooming around the place right now. Oh, this Mao's nice and low. Perfect. Stone cannon. Nice and low. Come on. Boss Mao, please. Yes! There we go. We got ancient civilization parts, a precious claw, and we take down the boss Mao, which means that we can now claim what seems to be our reward, I guess, our loot rewards. So let's check what we get. An attack pendant. Ooh, okay. And a crossbow schematic. Ooh, okay. An uncommon crossbow. That's actually quite good. I'm actually very happy with that. Now, our guys are a bit hungry, so let's go ahead and feed you up. There we go. Perfect. And we're going to continue exploring, and hopefully we can find some more dungeons or something. That would be cool. All right, we found a brand new boss. Another one to add to the list, of course, is the King Packer. Now, I don't know how easy this one's going to be because it's a lot higher level than anything else we've taken on. Uh, I'm pretty sure it said level 23, so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to throw out Zoe and Grizzbolt and sort of just hope to and pray to God that we can do something to it. Because, oh, no, he's chasing me. Oh, no, this really is not a great start. Oh, he's going for the belly flop. Okay, Zoe and Grizzbolt have done literally nothing so far. Okay, hang on. No, they're actually doing stuff, actually. Hang on. Yo, go on. Go on, Zoe and Grizzbolt. Come on. I'm just going to sit here and watch. Come on, Grizzbolt. Let's try some other guys out real quick. So we got this Who Crates right here. Let's just see if he can do anything to this King Packer right here. Come on, Who Crates. Do something. Please. Ah. <laughs> oh, wait. Hang on. This is actually good. And it says that Who Crates attacks are highly effective against King Packer. Wait, this is actually kind of good, actually. Uh, and he's dead already. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Let's go in and try out our deer. Nice. Good damage. Okay, okay. Okay, now the deer's doing well. The deer's doing very, very well. You fight the deer. 
and I do. Ow! Well, that, that hurt. What the frick? I'll be honest, I kind of thought the deer was doing that attack, not the king packer supreme fluff commander i've only just noticed that bro <laughs> come on dear we've got this yeet oh no i missed no okay hang on Oop. okay come on can we catch it can we catch the king packer two no way yes come on let's go we caught king packer oh my gosh that is amazing okay so we've actually just come across a small settlement so pal merchant come on sell me something good nope all a bunch of stinkers. We don't want any of that. A gossiping villager eating some chicken. And we've got the wandering merchant in here. Let's see what you're selling me. Ooh, hang on. Wait, this is good. Wait, hang on. Arrows. I mean, oh, but we could buy these as well. Uh, 15 or... Nah, we buy the, we buy the arrows. We 100% buy the arrows. Okay, perfect. I think that's all that's around here. So let's grab back the deer and continue our adventure. Ooh, okay. We've come across like a syndicate base that has a, a pal inside of it. Let's see if we can save this little pal in the cage right here. I don't know how easy it's going to be. We're going to try our very best. Go, oh, King Packer. Woo! Mess him up. Oh, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> My goat. Look at King Packer go. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is hilarious. Okay, hang on, let's save the power. I think it's a lift monk in there. Whilst King Packer is just belly flopping everyone. There we go. We get ourselves a lift monk. All right, now, while we're here, we did also discover a new boss. So you already know what time it is. It's boss time, baby. Let's head on over. All right, there it is. The Azurobe. We're going to try and take it on. I think actually we don't use King Packer for this. We use Grisbolt because electric on water should be super effective. So let's see how much damage we do right here. Come on, be good. Nice. That's really good damage. I have been noticing as well. I actually don't think that Grisbolt takes damage. Um, I think because we glitched it, I don't think that it does any damage. Um, like, because you could see, like, he is definitely getting attacked, but nothing is happening to his health. So maybe we shouldn't be using Zoe and Griswold. I kind of feel a bit, um, it feels like cheating a little bit. Um, yeah. Mm, mm, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section if you think I should not have used Grisbolt or not. But just like that, I mean, we catch the Azurobe straight away, which is amazing. And we've just ran into Woolly Pops. I want a Woolly Pop. How do I get a Woolly Pop? Let's throw out our chillet real quick. Hit the Woolly Pop. It's frozen. Go ahead and catch the Woolly Pop. Come on. Ouchies, the Woolly Pop's hurt. Ow! Okay, we catch one. Can we catch a second? Come on, it's low. It's so low. Come on, it's literally got one HP. Hey, there we go. We catch the two Whirly Pops. We also get, of course, we're looking pretty good. I can't lie. We're doing pretty well. And I've just seen like the green dragon and I kind of want it. I don't know what it is, but I want it. <laughs> Okay, it's nice and low. Come on. Come on, 15%. I know it's low, but give me some of that luck. Give me some of that luck. If you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel to give me some luck. Oh my God, no way. No, you haven't subscribed and liked. Come on, everyone subscribe right now. Hit that sub button if you haven't already. It's working. It worked. Let's go. Come on. Ha <laughs> ha. We got ourselves a bronze cherry. Very nice. Now, if I remember correctly, having a, a bronze cherry is actually really important. Now, I'll explain why very, very shortly, but I'm pretty certain you can use that to breed a pretty strong pal early game, which is exactly what we are going to try and do. But what, are what is that? Um, I don't know that we can catch that, but you already know we're going to try. Oh, no. <laughs> Go, go, go. Go on, chill it. Attack. Oh my god, wait. He almost killed it in one hit. Oh my god. Okay, we need dodge. Dodge again. It's fine. We can just throw balls there. Oh, he's low. And that's two. Okay, we're not going to get greedy. We're getting out of here. We are getting out of here. Ah! <laughs> oh, hang on. Hang on. They're all distracted. Could be a perfect time to, you know, sneak on in and, you know, maybe uh, just release this pal. Uh... Go, 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 go. Ha <laughs> ha! Perfect. We released the pal and we got out of there. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Moo. We're catching a cow, baby. Right, who would have thought that a cow would be difficult? No, I'm not having this. There's no way that a cow is difficult to catch. It's a cow. Wait, no, actually, why is not? What? Wait, it's a cow and I killed it. No. Oh, I killed the mozzarella cow. Oh, kind of, I actually really wanted a mozzarella cow. Mozzarella cow. Go bull. 
Come on, mozzarella cow. Okay, we may have to take a slight detour to catch all the mozzarellas. Mozzarella! Oh, we murdered that. Whoops. Whoopsies. Ooh, okay. I came across a large electric egg. I don't know what that is all about. Hopefully, that's actually quite good. Because at the moment, I've just seen normal-sized electric eggs. Um... So I'm guessing that that's good. Also, a Gigasphere. Hello. We'll be saving that for a really good pal. Right, so why have I just found Bowser then? What? <laughs> it's Bowser. We are burning as well, so we've got to be very quick in this new biome that we're in right now. Oh, come on. No, no, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. No. Okay, let's go for a Megasphere. Hopefully that catches it. No, we didn't catch it. Come on. Megaspheres, Megaspheres. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Come on. We got it. Let's go. Okay, we need to, we do need to get out of here, though, because we are burning up big time. And uh, there we go. Okay, we have almost taken out another boss pal. It's been an absolute mission. But three, two, and one. We take down a Mamo Rest. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, what did it drop? Okay, ancient civilization parts. We do need to drop a bunch of stuff because we are super overweight. And I think the rest of his stuff is actually up the top here. So quickly... Let's head on up. Oh, I was really hoping for a legendary schematic. Oh, well. Okay, on to the next boss. Okay, so we're at the base right now, and it looks like we have some sort of syndicate raid. So there's a bunch of syndicates down there. You know what? I'm going to send King Packer down. Go, my friend. Attack. Is he just going to stand there? Go on, King Packer. Come on, attack aggressively. Okay, we're going down there. Uh, King Packer, you want something done? You do it yourself. Isn't that right, weirdy? Go. Oh. But that wasn't... I was meant to do the charge attack, but it said it did the wrong one. Okay, right. That's fine. Oh, now I know why. Antler uppercut. There we go. Much better. Wait, what? We put it on the wrong one? Huh? Maybe we have to get off it and then back on it again? There we go. Time to murder! Yeah! <laughs> well, that was, um, that was an easy raid. Okay, so... Now that we're back at the base and we have dealt with that stupid little raid, I'm going to make myself a breeding farm. Now that we have this, we have two of the pals we need to make... A certain pal that is going to really, really help us excel in the end game. Now, I know that we're still quite early on, but by having this pal, I'm going to be able to take out bosses and farm loads of stuff so much faster. So let's get this thing built up and then get the two pals that we need into the ranch area. We get the two pals we need into the breeding area. All right, so we need to get ourselves two certain pals into uh, the area. So we need to basically, well, we need to upgrade the base, essentially. So we need a logging site and a crusher. Okay, so logging site, we can build super easy. Let's go ahead and build this just over here. There we go. We've got the two pals coming on over to help us real quick with building this new logging area. And there we go. We've made the crusher as well as the logging area. So if we go back on here, we can now upgrade the base like that. Now we need to make a second berry plantation for the next upgrade. So let's go ahead and just chuck another one of these down over here. When we get to the point where we can actually make a new base, this base will just become the mining area and we will actually make a nice looking base. But for now, we're just going to chuck stuff down everywhere because eventually it will get all deleted. But... For now, this is just going to have to do. So we grab these guys, which looks hilariously ridiculous. And we chuck you right there. And then we need the Bronkerry as well. There we go. Perfect. So these guys now, male and female, should be creating an egg. Now, as you can see here, it does say not enough cake. So we now need to work on getting ourselves some cake. I think we are going to need a cow for milk. And we're going to need a chicken for eggs. So let's take out the Vixie for now. And we're going to put in the cow we're going to take out Wulu for now, and we're going to put in a chicken. And then these guys should go and start making some milk and eggs for us, which is perfect. Now we just need a, a medieval workbench. All right, there we go. Perfect. We have created the uh, medieval medicine workbench. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Cool. Right, so now we can actually put one of our guys back in. I'm thinking... You know what? Let's put another cow in because then we can get even more milk, which is actually perfect. Okay, so we have made up the cooking pot. Now, as you can see, we have cake right here. But in order to get cake, we need flour, eggs, and honey. Now, I know how to get flour. I know how to get eggs and milk and red berries. I don't know how you get honey. So that's something we're going to have to look into. Okay, so everything else is in the works right now. We have obviously our wheat farm right here. We have the mill that has the flour inside of it. I don't don't know how I just picked that guy up. We got the flower going, which means that we have everything that we possibly could need 
for the cakes other than of course the honey so honey wise on this i don't know how you get honey i checked the wandering merchant they don't have any honey either so i figured maybe what i have to go ahead and do is just explore the world and try my best to find some sort of pal that drops honey i figured it would be a good idea to go ahead and actually make up a saddle for a flyer now we actually need to get out the van worm real quick uh here you are perfect now if we jump on him we now can go ahead and fly about which is so cool okay i think also we need to actually upgrade some of our stuff so let's go ahead and create a, a mega shield and then we're gonna go ahead and create ourselves let's go with some metal armor i think is probably gonna be the best way to go unless we want to go with i'm thinking maybe we go for the hot and cold stuff instead yeah, let's go ahead and create an armor set of those each. So we'll craft these two here. So we need a bunch of flame organs. We need some cloth. And this one we can already create. Okay, perfect. Okay, so let's get the metal helmet going. I'm going to craft all of this armor up and then we'll be back. Okay, there we go. We've got the helmet. We've got the metal cold resistant armor. Also, I have made the executive decision to ban using this guy right here maybe we can use it in the base but apart from that i'm gonna try my best to stay away from it because it is a bit overpowered so yeah and i'm sure you guys can probably agree it's probably not good to use especially now that i look at his health as well he's got 105,000 health which is a bit op since the rest of our team have under 5,000. um so yeah, we ain't going to be using, we ain't going to be using that anymore. <laughs> oh, okay. So we've come across a new boss area. It looks like it is a pen king. Let's head on inside and hopefully we can take this thing down. Here we are inside of the pen king's domain. There he is. Okay, let's go. Oh, we need to take out the pen king. Come on, Van Wim. Do something. Okay, you're, you're getting destroyed. Okay, hang on. Let's switch into llama. Come on, King Packer. <laughs> Come on, King Packer! Okay, he's just running around belly flopping on everything else other than the boss. I think King Packer will be okay because it's a lot lower level boss than I figured it would be. So we'll just keep doing what we can to it. There we go. King Packer's doing a belly flop. Oh, what good damage. Okay, come on. Let's catch it. Come on. And there we go. We have caught the king. There we go. Perfect. Let's head on out of here before we get murdered by penguins. Oh, a new boss. It looks like it's some sort of dragon boss. We've got an Elfidran. Elfidran, I guess. Uh, we're taking this thing on. And we, you best believe that we're going to be throwing out. Let's go with Chillet for this one. Okay, apparently we're just going to fire at it. Oh, no. Okay, here we go. Go on, Chillet. Here's level 30, so this might be a difficult one. I do want to try and catch this thing, though. So we're going to get nice and low, and then we're going to go for the catch. Honestly, King Panker is actually the goat. I, I can't lie. He's the goat. Help me. What is he doing? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. We can't get... Surely we don't die to Derpy Dragonite. Ow! That hurt a lot. Early flop. Okay, we're out of arrows. This is not good. No! It died. <laughs> Oh, I want a derpy dragon face. Come on, King Packer. Come on, let's at least get this guy as a consolation. That's our last Megasphere. And it didn't catch. Darn it. Come on. Pow Spheres, go. <gasps> yes. Woo. We got Robin Quill. I've just flown over what seems to be some sort of bee boss, which if that is the case, it will give us honey. But I don't actually see the boss. Uh, Maybe would these guys drop? Let's just see. Let's see if these guys will drop anything. Drop any honey? Honey! Yay! There we go. Amazing. Okay, cool. We're going to get a bunch of honey and then we're going to head back home. All right, so I have just seen something amazing that i really want to try and get and hell zephyr oh my gosh we gotta try and get this guy here we go time for a bit of an aerial battle although he's just flown straight to the floor come on big damage nice he's low he's getting there go up mm. oh we killed it well okay all right so we made it back to Beza with all of the materials that we need Hopefully, the pals have been working hard getting all the wheat and everything ready. Let's have a little look. How much wheat can we create? Perfect. We can create another 10 as well, which is brilliant. Grab all of our baked foods. And there we go. We can create some cake. Looks like we can only create one right now. But honestly, one cake is better than no cake. So that, yes, yes, it did take a while. Um, am I proud of how long it took? Most certainly not. Um, but on the important side, we did manage to get it done. So now what we do is we put the cake in there. You see they ate it real quick. 
And just like that, we get ourselves a huge rocky egg. If we can pick it up, there we go. Perfect. So now what we need to do is get into the tech area and we need to find ourselves the incubator i'm pretty sure i don't know whereabouts it is though it should be here it is okay egg incubator perfect okay so with the egg incubator what we want to do is let's just craft it up we'll plop it right by the actual farm itself perfect okay so we get this crafted up real quick and it looks like everyone's ditched me oh they've all gone to sleep bro no come back guys please okay well we're gonna leave it on four seconds we're gonna go and have a sleep real quick as well and we'll come back to this in the morning. Oh, here we are. Big yours. <sighs> what we can do now is if we head back over to our chest, we have a bunch of eggs. Now, if we grab all of these bad boys out, uh, egg, egg, eggs. There's one there. And then we should have a couple up here as well. Large electric scorching and that's it perfect so basically for this 100 days i've made it so that there is no incubation time on the egg so you just plop an egg in here and boom the egg is ready to go straight away which is amazing for this 100 days gonna make things so much quicker and just like that we're gonna start getting a bunch of awesome powers from the incubator anubis was born there we go perfect now that's what all of this has been building up to is of course the anubis now if we get him to the top of our party real quick let's throw him out look at how amazing he looks he's running off right now to go and help with the farming like a, a legend. Let's have a little look at him. He's got heated body, a body and hooligan, which is great. That's upped attack, which is brilliant. Okay. So now that we've got this guy, I think it's time that we get him leveled up and we go out and try and take on a couple more bosses. We managed to get ourselves two Anubis so far. And we've got another two on the way right here, which hopefully will make this mining base so much better than it was previously. So let's get these guys all hatched up real quick now we made a little bit more progress on the base while i was waiting around for all the eggs so we have a bunch of fiber in the works right now we've made up a cooler with all of our cake materials in we've got nine more cakes on the go we've got a bunch of ingots now and we have also progressed our base up to i think it is now level 13 perfect so next on the agenda is, is to get ourselves a power generator and a sphere assembly line since we need to make up a bunch of the electric organs, I think what we'll do is we're going to head on over in this direction over here. All right, then let's do it. We are taking on the sealed realm of the winged tyrant. Here is a quiven. Ooh, okay. I mean, we've already done a pretty decent chunk on it. He looks very powerful as well as a flyer, so that would be great if we can get him. Okay, we need to get our balls ready. We need gigaspheres out. Keep bowing him down. Oh no, he looks so happy. Why does he look so happy while he's running to murder me? Okay, wait, this is good. This is perfect. Come on, 60%. Come on. Surely he was frozen as well. How is that not a catch? Surely. Come on. Quiven, join the team. Didn't even let him land. Surely that's it. Yes! There we go. We have caught a Quiven. Now, I'm pretty sure as well, if we go back and repeat certain bosses, we can actually have a chance of getting a legendary schematic drop. We're going to keep looking around and hopefully we can take on some more bosses. As you can see on the map right here, you've got, of course, the Mama Rest and also the King Packer. What I want to do for the next few days is just rotate between the both of them, fighting the bosses over and over and over again to hopefully get the legendary schematics. After doing some research, there are only about 5% chance to drop, which if I'm being honest is absolutely disgusting, but... We are basically just going to keep on farming the King Packers and the Mamarest because we can get legendary armor schematics from the Mamarest and a legendary bow schematic from the King Packer. All right, we are heading into the realm of the Thunder Dragon. Let's head on in and take on a Relaxosaurus. Let's go. He looks hilarious with his electric mohawk. Okay, we need to take this guy out. Come on. See how much Anubis does. Oh, that's big damage. That is easy damage for our boy Anubis. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> come on anubis he is soaking that damage big time now i do want to go ahead and actually try and catch this relaxosaurus so oh no he might kill it actually we need to hit it okay we need to hit it with a ball come on no he breaks out okay anubis i'll let you hit it again but you need to not kill it yes there we go we go ahead and catch ourselves a relaxosaurus lux okay i still have not managed to get myself anything legendary on the schematic scale there's a dead, dead kimpaka over there 
But what I did find was a, a lucky spark it. Now, let's go ahead and catch this boy right here. Come on, come on, come on. And there we go. We got ourselves a lucky spark it. We did go ahead and find a another lucky pal, which, of course, this time it is a penguin. Let's get this guy all nice and shot up. So the... Oh, no. 100%. There we go, baby. Come on. And finally, we have completed it and got ourselves the old bow schematic, which means that we have completed one of our challenges for this 100 days, which, of course, is to get a legendary schematic. Come on. All right, now we're back at base. I think it's time that we go ahead and actually craft up this legendary schematic. All right, let's get our Anubis out to help us with crafting up this old bow right here. Boom. There we go. We have the old bow with 247 attacks attack which compared to 40 is pretty insane since we got a new bow i figured maybe it would be time that we actually head out and we grab ourselves our first tower boss now you guys have probably been getting super mad at me seeing in the top right constantly that stupid tutorial part so let's go clear it here we go our very first boss fight okay I'm excited for this one. This character looks so sick. Oh, <laughs> obviously we came in here earlier to try and do the funny glitch. We're not going to do that on any other bosses though, because it's very, very broken. We're going to take down this Grizzbow and Zoe super quick, super easy, especially with our new bow. Okay, here we go. I love the intro. Who should we throw out? You know what? Anubis can help us with this one. Let's see the bow power. Oh, wait, 107 what what is his damage in a moment we were doing like one damage beforehand headshots to 150 oh my gosh <laughs> okay this may be the quickest boss fight we have ever done my damage compared with anubis's damage and anubis with the final blow the pound down from the sky my go anubis looking amazing Woo! we take down zoe and grisbolt there we go. Now, another goal for this 100 days was, of course, to get one of our pals up to, I think it was, is it four stars? Yeah. So as you can see in the top corner up here on the left hand side, there is a level, which is level 41. And we also have stars above that. Okay. Now, in order to get the four stars for our pals, we need to make something called the pal essence condenser. And uh, now if we go into here, you can select the pal that you want to upgrade. And as you can see here, we're going to get one star. Now, in order to do that, you have to put in four of the exact same pal. So, for example, here, we could go like this and put in all of these pals to then upgrade all of his stats right here to make them a lot better. Now, we want to do this four times to get him all the way up, but... I want to basically breed up a bunch of Anubis and get a bunch of really good stats for our Anubis before we go ahead and actually upgrade one. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and find a new area to place down a new base and we're going to make up a breeding base. All right, now I'm on my way over to the volcanic area and I found this really, really nice massive flat area right here that I think actually could be perfect. So there is actually a checkpoint right over here as well, which means we can get back over here. I will, I'm, you know what? I am actually going to try real quick to catch this guy because the more of these that we have, the actual uh, better amounts of of the Anubis that we can actually breed up. There we go. Perfect. There's one. There's another one here. And now the reason this area is actually quite good is also because we have all of the things around here that we actually need to breed up Anubis. And we murdered that one. Whoopsies. I really need to be a bit better at, uh, you know, actually not murdering things I'm trying to get. And he's she's tumbling down the hill. That is really depressing. Ouch. Okay, well... <laughs> There's also, hang on, there is something over here that I'm quite interested or intrigued to have a little look at. This looks like, a, is this a massive metal area? What? <gasps> oh, there's a boss. There's a boss. A boss beacon. Okay, we're going to definitely take this guy on real quick. Go for a nightmare ball. Go, go, go. Okay, not bad damage, not bad at all. Okay, we can't reach from there. I think it's probably more efficient if I actually do jump off my guy. Oh, and we'll just attack from the floor while our pal attacks from the air. This guy'd be really cool to catch, actually. Oh, 35 HP. Okay, come on. Nope. Yes, we caught the beacon boss. Let's go. Awesome. All right, so now that we're back at base, we need to make up a bunch of pal spheres. Now, I think the best way to do this is to create a pal assembly line. And I figured the best way of doing this is to make a bunch of 
foundations and set up like our actual proper assembly line area so i'm gonna place down a bunch of stuff make a massive platform for all of the guys to start producing spheres on and uh i guess then we'll be back once we've actually finished making everything up now let's see what our large scorching egg is come on be something good oh we got a bushy uh, hang on a minute let's have a look at him yo he's like a samurai guy oh that is so sick. Okay, we are putting this guy up here. No, okay, he doesn't want to... He's just doing his thing, you know? We'll just let him do his thing. Listen, you know, I I, I did say that I wasn't going to keep trying to farm for the, the blueprints, but we are farming some stone right now. And, you know, while I'm farming it, why not just take on the boss real quick? Let's see if we can get the legendary schematic. I'm fighting the Mamoros and a lucky chicken's running past. Hang on a minute. Lucky chicken. Oh my... What, what is that? What was that? Okay, we need this chicken. We need this chicken. It's, it went god mode. And uh, there we go. We take out the Mamorest once again. We don't get the schematic. Rip. Ooh, another egg. Come on, give us a good Anubis. Let's see it. Let's see a good one. Nope, nothing good. Okay. All right, so we've basically set up our assembly line. We've got Relaxosaurus Electric, dude. We're powering up the generator right here. Okay, so now that we have 20 of the Hyper, 20 of the Giga, and 7 Megas, we can now head out and see what new powers that we can find. Okay, what is that? Have I, what have I just stumbled across? Um, interesting. I want, I want you. You, oh my god, you look like an Agrizard from Fusion Pixamon. I want, attack Anubis. Oh my gosh, wait, surely, surely. How much damage are we doing? 82, 82. Oh no, this is going to be interesting. Only problem is I'm worried that if I try to catch him while he's in this enclosed area, he's just going to... Ow! He's ended up going to glitch into the wall. Um, is, is the problem I'm thinking of. Um, But we're going to try our best here. Okay, he's super low now. And he is stuck in the wall because we've tried to catch him. So we need to just throw our balls at the wall. 3%, come on. Surely. Oh, he's gone super high up now. Oh, come on. We got, we got a slight chance. There is a slight chance that we catch this thing. No, we didn't hit him there. Yes! Okay, we hit him. Come on. No! I'll be honest, I don't think we're going to catch us. It really sucks that he's stuck in the wall, but we're going to get him as low as we possibly can right here. Okay, he is quite literally could not be lower right now. Okay, he's got 2 HP. This this has got to be it. No, I missed! Come on! Okay, that's that's it. That's it. If it doesn't catch, we're, it's over. It's over. Oh, no. Come on! Ugh. Okay, yeah, no, they're, they're not working. Okay. Oh, this is really sad. I really didn't want to kill this thing. No! Oh. We, we defeated the boss, but unfortunately, we were not able to catch it. All right, so now that we're back in the base, after unfortunately losing that boss pal... We've got a bunch of eggs that we need to open up that we found along the way. So let's get all these opened up. And there we go. Okay, so this is all the stuff that we managed to get from our eggs. We got a Wixen. We got a bunch of Kelpsy Ignitus. We got these Lee's Punk Ignitus. We got a uh, Van Worm. We got a couple of those. We got a, a Ragnarok as well. So all around some pretty good fire types from here. All right, so I decided I'm going to take a little break from exploring now because we've explored quite a big amount of the area. And I'm going to focus a bit more on leveling up our base. So ne next up, we need to build a weapon assembly line. So let's get on that. We can already make it, which is perfect. So let's get that bad boy made up. Let's get this built up real quick. And then we're actually going to have some weapons, which is going to be very, very nice indeed. Here we go. So now we can go ahead and actually craft up all of these weapons right here, which is amazing. Although it looks like a lot of them need refined ingots. So I think that's going to be the next thing that, that we are going to work on after we've upgraded our base. In order to get some better ores and better materials, we do need to make up an improved furnace. So I've destroyed both of the previous ones so that we can make this new one. And then hopefully we can get some new ingots that will actually help us progress a lot more with armor and also with tools. Okay, so we can get refined ingots now, which means we need to get some coal as well as our ore. And upgrade number 14 up to 15. Perfect. And we've already made the furnace, so that's another upgrade right there. Now we need to build two large pal beds. Now, all right, so we, we do actually need more wool. There are certain pals that will create high quality cloth for us in the ranch area, along with the chickens, the cows. Ooh, okay, so we just hatched out an egg, and we actually just got a Lunaris, which looks a bit like a Mega Mewtwo. I can't lie, just an ice version. So we definitely, uh, definitely will be checking that one out in just a minute. Okay, so I do know... Ooh, we did get Ferocious on an Anubis. That's huge. 20% plus attack on 
this Anubis, which is amazing. Okay, so while we're waiting for our new two pairs to breed up right here, I think we should head over to the area we said about before earlier on in the video to make a, a new area. Okay, so I'm thinking this spot just down here is going to be a great spot to put down our new base. And uh, there we go. We have our brand new base location popped in right here. So now I think the best plan of action is to make a bunch of ranches. So we're going to need wood, stone, and fiber for that. Oh, okay, here we go. So the egg has been made. It's a large frozen egg. Now, if we put this into the incubator and let's hatch this bad boy up. Here we go. And uh, that is exactly what we were looking for. A Siblex. But yeah, so essentially how this uh, Siblex works is when it's in the ranch, it actually creates high quality cloth for us. Meaning we don't have to waste all our time crafting up a load of it and wasting all of our wool. We actually it can just go ahead and let this guy sit right here and it will start creating exactly what we need. All right, so I've pretty much finished making up the new area. So we've got all of our ranches on this side. I've made one for each different type of material that we need. So we're going to chuck down a bunch of plantations real quick. So we're going to put down two tomato plantations. I think we'll chuck down two lettuce plantations as well. There we go. And then we'll chuck down a, a bunch of the berry plantations as well, just because then we have a bunch of sustainable amounts of food for the area. There we go. Perfect. I'm actually very happy with the placement of these. Um, I think now all that's left to do is actually get the garden into the area oh no what is this what is this hang on a minute there's a army of relaxosaurus what the frick um go i want to try and catch one. Oh no okay there's a bunch of them with uh, oh they're all unconscious with major injuries bruh no okay well that really didn't go well did it um uh, okay so i'm just building large beds for the pals right now and i just want to just show you guys how crazy this looks watch as they all run out look at this look at the state of this <laughs> and now we have a giant bed which is great so if we head back down here now we should actually be able to upgrade our base once again perfect and now if we fast travel back over here i can show you guys what i've been working on for the past few hours which is crazy um now, they were all sorted into lovely areas until they went to sleep and then they all sort of messed up their areas. So let me show you what I have done. So obviously, you already know about all of the bits over here. We've got our ranches. We haven't got anything in them right now in the breeding areas because we don't need to. Um, but what we do have in here is all of our eggs and all of our milk. We then have all of our cloth in this one. Now, I've the reason that I've put it like this is so that they don't mix up the chest and then I know exactly what is in each chest. You've got honey in here, wool in here, coins in here, arrows, and pal spheres. And then inside of our feeding box over here, we have just berries. And then if we head back over to our other base real quick, let's have a little look and see how much the guys have made up. So ingots now, we have another 512. That's brilliant because we did also make up a bunch anyway as well. We have 24 cakes. I think what is probably best to do now is head out and see if we can take on some boss towers. Oh! <gasps> Okay, we were on our way to where we needed to go, which you can see by that giant statue right there. And I found a lucky sweeper. Woohoo! Let's see if we can catch this guy. That would be so cool. Oh, wait, now I'm going to kill him with fireball. Let's not do that. Ooh, no fireball for you, my friend. No fireball. Now, I know these guys are dangerous, so we do need to be very, very, very careful on what we do. There we go. Come on, a lucky sweeper. And here we are, the Anubis boss. We're going to take this guy on and hopefully we can get him nice and low and actually go ahead and catch it as well, which would be absolutely amazing. So let's get him hit. Let's throw out Azu robe and see what she can do or he can do against this. Okay, this is really not great right now. Um, oh, Azu robe died. Okay, right. We, mm, mm. we almost just got murdered. Oh, no. Wait, can he climb this? Can he climb this rock? Oh, no. Where's he gone? Has he disappeared? Uh, did we win? Oh, no, there he is. Is he glitched in the rocks? Wait, what is going on? Oh, <laughs> that is so scary. He's just following me. 
Chill out, man. Now who's stuck, my friend? Ha! <laughs> and that did nothing. What? It's fine. We tick him down like this. Honestly, if he's going to stay here... I'm happy about that because we could just slowly but surely tick him down. All right, we're going to get him low and then we're going to be back. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. No. I spent so long on that. No. No. I actually did too much damage to him. No. I tried so hard to catch him and I got him so low and then I accidentally clicked the fireball and killed him. No. No. We're going to wait for it to respawn, and then we're going to give it one more try. Ooh, okay. So we're having a little explore. We'll wait for Anubis. And I found a huge frozen egg. Okay, we definitely have to hatch that bad boy out. And a huge damp egg. Hello. These could be some pretty strong pals. Okay, we've got a herd coming in. We need to defend this. Come on, Anubis. Okay, Anubis just wants to go mine. Oh, no. Guys. Oh my gosh, what is going on? What is going on? What was that? Oh god. Ow! I think that's it. Have we won? We won! Woohoo! That was disgustingly hectic. Anyways, we do have all of our eggs to open up now. There's a lot of eggs in here, so let's just grab all of these bad boys real quick. Perfect. Okay, we have a lot of eggs to go through. Look at all of these. Okay, I think we start with the little baby ones first, and we're going to open all these up, and then we'll be back. All right, so we've opened up all of our eggs. Let's see what we've ended up getting. So we have a Fox Parks, which nobody cares about. We got this kid soon, which I would love to check out. What? I've never seen this guy before. Oh, Okay, that's so cool. That is so cool. We got a Marafe. Messenger of Death. Applies dark damage to the player's attacks while mounted. Awesome. We got a Van Wim Crystal. Very nice. Cryolinks. While fighting together, Dragon Pals drop more items when defeated. This thing looks amazing. Oh, <laughs> we got Ice Reptio. Oh my gosh. Uh, This thing looks insane. We've got... A, a Mamorist Crystal. Yo! And finally, uh, this is the other new one we got. We got the Rendrix, which is a really, really, really cool ice, like, dog type looking thing. And finally, Suzaku Aqua. This thing looks insane. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to cook up the saddle right here. So we get the saddle bit made up so that we can ride this guy whenever and we won't have to deal with the cold or the heat, which is amazing. There we go. Perfect. And now we should be able to ride this guy. Oh, yes. All right. We have finally got a new Anubis. Super low and ready to be caught. It's 23% though, so it's going to be a difficult one. We're going to keep getting him a little bit lower where we can. But hiding behind these trees is really, really annoying. Okay, perfect. Come on, please. 3% catch rate. Will we even get a wiggle? I don't know. But we're going to keep trying our best. Oh, this is so scary, especially on hardcore. We cannot risk any damage. Oh. <gasps> One, two, <gasps> yes, let's go. And so while I've been waiting for the Anubis to get the perfect stats on each of them, I've been making a new base. Now, I want to show this to you guys because it is a very, very simple looking base, but it is a very, very handy. Now, the reason for this is exactly this. So if I go down here and grab a piece of this, as you can see, I've got some coal. Now, Coal is very important because we need it for refined metal. There's also a bunch of metal up here. Now, if you want to make a base on this area, this is where it is on the map. Now, it's got the coal and the iron, and the base stretches all the way around both areas. So we can get coal and iron all at the same time, which is a really, really helpful. So for example, let's say we take a bunch of this coal real quick. Let's go down and help the guys move it all. Now, when we go up to our refining forge, what we want to do is select the refined ingots. Now we can create 91 refined ingots, which is absolutely amazing. Now, once they're cooked up, it means that we can create a saddle for our new flyer. And then we can test it out and see if it's any better than our Van Wyme. So I don't know why, but every time I come to this base that has all of the coal and everything, everyone seems to have like injuries. And I don't know where they're getting said injuries from. Like one of them's depressed. 
One of them has a sprain. One of them was incapacitated, which I had to put back into the PAL deck. So I'm a little bit confused on where they are getting all of these from. So, yeah, so, so I've, I basically I've decided that I'm going to set up a giant wall around this area. Just because I've got time while I'm waiting for the Anubis to breed up, I figured it'd be a good idea to come and check on these guys. And, you know, you can probably imagine my reaction when I see half of them are dead. And just like that, we have finally managed to get the correct Anubis on here. Let me just grab him out wherever he has disappeared to. What I want to do with this guy is take him over to this machine right over here. Now, how this machine works is very, very simple. You put in the Anubis you want and you go over to here. You see we have so many Anubis. You could put in, let's say, four of the random ones we don't care about. And we do this and boom. We now have one star on our Anubis. Now, in order to get it to the next one, we need to sacrifice 16 of them, which means that we have to chuck in quite a few of these guys in order to make this amount up. And there we go. We're going to consume all of these guys. And now we have an Anubis that is up to two stars. But unfortunately, to get him up to a further stage, we are going to have to sacrifice 32 Anubis. So we aren't going to be able to do that one anytime soon. Now, the next thing we can do is go... <clears throat> now, the next thing we can do is go onto here, which is the Statue of Power, and we can enhance our pals. So if we click on our Anubis right here, we can upgrade his max health, his attack, his work speed, and his defense. So we don't care about the work speed, so we're going to go ahead and up this one right here. We're going to up his attack lots and lots to get him to the point where he requires the purple things. There we go. And there we go on the health. Now we're just going to up his defenses just like that. Perfect. Okay. And then we can go ahead and do one of the attack on this. And then probably let's go for one health as well. Now this guy's looking pretty stacked. Now, unfortunately, to go any further, we need to get some more medium power souls so we're gonna have to go out hunting for those hopefully we can get some through defeating the boss pals as well for some reason the transporters are just hardly picking up anything so every time i come here there's just a load of items just chilling all over the floor so looks like we are gonna have to be part of the transportation gang for a little while just grabbing up all of the materials that are being left around just so that we don't you know lose out on anything although i don't think anything actually does despawn which is a amazing feature but there we go we can grab out all of this stuff perfect then we can head back on over to our base okay i've got some bad news i've got some really bad news so i went afk to eat some food for about an hour roughly all right i come back and as you can see the base has been leveled and i was like oh that's really odd there's no pals there's no walls and more importantly the ranches are all gone because yes we have a bunch of materials in here but all of our pals were taken out. And I don't know how, and I don't know by what, but they're all here because I had to heal them. Um, now, I don't know what happened, um, but they were all taken out by something. And I'm kind of skeptical to sort of put them back here just because if it happens again, it's not ideal. So I think what we're going to do is just sort of take what we've got and we are going to leave it for the rest of the 100 days. I don't think we're going to need any more of these materials now we have a lot of them so we should theoretically be okay now i think the best plan of action from here onwards is oh no right now this is what i'm thinking maybe uh, was what took us out before so we are gonna get ready to fight here so now i do think we maybe need to set up some defenses because i am worried about losing this base too um Whereabouts are they? Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. The guys might have to defend for themselves. No, they're gonna have to defend. We took down the raid. Okay, now I think purely because of what just happened at the other base, we do need to look to set up some defenses. Now, only problem is we have no technology points and I don't know how you get more. And I think the best way to get them is probably to defeat bosses or something like that. So what we are gonna go ahead and do is I'm pretty sure we may be able to upgrade our Anubis once again. So let's go into here, put you in here, and we're going to go through and select all of our Anubis. Let's complete it. We now have a three-star Anubis with over a thousand attack. That is crazy. All right, so we've made it to boss tower number one. 
which is right over here. Let's get on our Kitsun to get over there. And I don't know how well this battle is going to go, but we are going to try our very, very best to beat it. Let's head on in. Uh, can we head in? What is this? Is it, am I at the wrong side, maybe? Oh, we're, okay, that's interesting. <laughs> we had to go around the backside to enter, but let's listen to this. Oh, wait, what? <gasps> Yo, okay, it's a grass type. I thought it was going to be an ice type. Okay, interesting. Oh, <laughs> Lily and Lilene. Okay, here we go. Big damage, come on. Woo! Let's just stay back. Okay, Kitson's hungry. Let's pull him back. Oh, go Anubis. Let's see what this damage is. Boom! Not very effective and he does that much damage. That is crazy. Nice! I'm doing what I can with my bow as well. Come on, we're almost there. We've got six minutes left on the clock. Big damage. Come on. Come on, Warsect. We're, we're so close. I know you're weak to her, but you've got this, man. Oh, God. I'm actually taking damage, too, from the poison cloud. Oh, no. She's so low. Okay, come on. Hide behind the pillars. Nope, that doesn't matter. Yes, we took her down. Woo, just in the nick of time as well. Come on. Okay, it's not a boss tower, but we have another boss dungeon to enter into. And it looks like we've got a Petelia. Okay, okay. So now I do want to go ahead and try and catch this as well. So we are going to stay on our kit side just in case. Okay, huge. We should be able to catch it now. 95% chance. There's no way it breaks out of this. There we go. Awesome. All right, we've made it back to the cave where this last boss was that was super difficult to take down, but we took it down. Unfortunately, we weren't able to catch it last time. I want to try and catch it this time. We've got some ultra spheres and we also have 42 hyperspheres. So we've got a lot more than we had before. And I'm hoping that we can catch this guy. Go on, Anubis. Anubis is actually doing some really good damage, to be honest. Um, um, why is it coming for me? Why is it coming for me then? We do need to talk about that. What? Is he coming out or what? What's going on here? Okay, wait, hang on. Is he stuck? Oh, dear. H ouchies. Okay, let's not peek. Let's just look at the health bar at the top. Bad content, but we're just going to watch the health bar at the top. Come on, Anubis. Hit him one more time. Okay, he's low. He's low. He's low. He's low. He's what? He's lit. No! No! We killed him again. Why did we murder him again? <laughs> Assault rifles come out. Hang on a minute. I mean, I'll take that, but like, oh. Okay, well, we're going to have a little look around it, and then we're going to decide shortly what we want to do about the tower. We're going for it. We, we have to. We have to try. We have to. We'd be, we'd be stupid not to. I mean, like, I'm pretty sure this is like the legendary, quote unquote, of the game. So we got to give it a go. Come on. Right, go on, Anubis. I want Anubis to attack it himself first. Okay, he started. He started the attack. Okay, he's coming for me. Okay. No, we're not doing this. We're not doing this. Okay. I made a big mistake. I'm sorry. Yeah, we, we need to find some uh, strong ice types, I think, if we're going to try and take that guy down. Oh my gosh. Right. We do need to talk about this. Come on, Ultra Sphere. If we're struggling to catch this with an Ultra Sphere, there was no way we were catching that legendary. There we go. Oh, so we have found a, a new pal. It looks like it's called Fenglope. It kind of, I'll be honest, it kind of looks like a uh, Cobalion. Uh, but I'm all here for it. Let's go ahead and try and catch this guy real quick. Come on, surely. We've got the perfect amount of health damage on it. There we go. Jeez. Finally, we're going to go and deal with some more towers. But first, I think it's time that we finally make our first weapon. We're going to go ahead and create... An assault rifle. Here we go. Okay. And here we go. Let's claim our assault rifle. Oh, oh I am so excited to use this bad boy. Look at this. <laughs> okay, so we're going to grab up a bunch of sulfur. We're going to grab up a bunch of charcoal through the forge. And we're going to create a bunch of ammo for our assault rifle. And there we go. Just like that, we now have 313 assault rifle ammo. Now, let's head on over to the ice boss tower. Okay, well, now I'm confused because I've come into the ice area and there's a level 49 Lilene knocked. I want to try to take it on and catch it, but I just don't know if we're going to be able to take it down. We're going to give it our very, very best shot, though. See how much this assault rifle actually does. Eh, I mean, it's all right, actually. It's not as amazing as I actually thought it was going to be, to be honest. Anubis is kind of just watching her, a, a bit confused. Come on, Anubis, buddy. There we go. See, now this is where the assault rifle comes in handy, because now we can go ahead and get it down as low as we need it. No! Why do they always glitch into the wall, man? No! 
Oh, no. I think we may have lost it, guys. Oh, that's so sad. Unless we can, like, crawl through this tiny little hole right here, which I don't think we can. Wait, she's back in here. This is great. Yay. Okay, wait, we can actually catch it. Let's go. Yes. Yes. Come on. Woohoo. All right, so basically, in order to craft up the legendary spheres, which I think is what we're going to be, uh, we're going to want to go for now, is we haven't got many days left of the 100 days, and I don't think we're going to be able to get all the boss towers done and discover what's in the tree. So, at the very least, I do want to try and catch myself that jet pal before we end off this 100 days. All right, here we go. So, we have now got our two electric assembly lines now so we've obviously got the uh, pal sphere one right here now we want to create the electric furnace now we pretty much have everything for that other than the good old carbon fiber so we're going to craft up a bunch of that stuff too so let's chuck you down right there we've literally put it perfectly on the edge that is actually insane okay perfect now hopefully with this new electric furnace we can go ahead and create how metal ingots okay so it means that we can actually go ahead and craft up a, a bunch of legendary spheres now that we have the pearl metal ingots so let's go ahead and craft up two there we go let's craft up two legendary spheres <laughs> that is so huge but we have now got legendary spheres which means that we can go ahead and catch 90% of the powers that we actually do need to catch nowadays. Okay, so we can craft up another 21 of these, which I am very happy with. So we'll go ahead and get those moving. We have so many Anubis helping us right now. Look at the state of this. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're going to wait for most of our power metal ingots to smelt up, or at least as many as we actually need to continue with our journey. And then we're going to be back. And here we are. We have created a pow metal helmet okay so this thing has 150 defense whereas these have 100 which is amazing how do we look with this on oh we look amazing now all we gotta do is just wait for more of these to do to refine because i'll be honest they're taking a long time to actually cook up oh my gosh I was just chilling at my base. And there's a lucky, there's a lucky monkey. Oh, we're going to get him. There we go. 98%. Didn't even wake up the other pals. Yeah, we got the lucky monkey. Woo! And just like that, I was upgrading the base. And it looks like we have finally upgraded our base to the maximum level. Acquiring 20 different pals inside of the base, which is amazing. Excuse me, guys. Thank you. Okay, and I think one more will do the job once these guys get moving. Watch out, please, guys. Thank you. There we go. Perfect. So now all of the pals have either a giant bed, which I've got to say look absolutely luxurious, or they get a fluffy bed, or they just get the hay down here, which is honestly quite sad. But, you know, the game is the game, unfortunately. Um, all right, so while we're waiting for all of the stuff to cook up and everything, I think that it's probably going to be a smart idea for us to head out and take on a bunch of bosses just so we can get levels so that we can get our player up to the max level of level 50. So I think we'll start off with this one right here just because we know where it is and it shouldn't be too difficult to take on. So this one looks like it's going to be a water type. So we need to get ourselves a bunch of electrics. Do we have any strong electric powers? Not really. Ugh. There he is. He's so huge. What the frick okay let's start off with cryolinx see what we can do to it there we go we'll take him tag him up real quick so that we get cryolinx going and then it looks like anubis is destroying jormantide one go okay come on ultra sphere keep him in yes there we go we have captured jormantide perfect i'm slowly starting to realize that I don't need to bring any other pals in. It's just Anubis. He's all I need. <laughs> you know what? While we're waiting for Anubis to deal with the Ice King Packer, we're just going to, you know, harvest up some pure quartz. This stuff seems to be quite rare to come across. So, hello, Mr. King Packer. Wadoosh. Anubis, take him out. Yes, okay. We have set up some mini guns. <laughs> We've got a bunch of turrets right here. So, hopefully, can I, like, assign you to the turret? Is that how this works? I assigned him to the mounted machine gun. Love that. So now if we ever have any raids, this guy right here will use the turret 
and take down anyone that comes close, which is amazing. Come on, little Wooloos. You go away and you mount the turret. Yes. That's going to be so good. And is it bad that I kind of want a raid to happen just so that we can um, see how our our lambs do against the uh, the enemies on the turrets. Look at them. <laughs> That's so good. I love it. Let's put you there. There we go. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now, we are very, very close to leveling up again to get enough tech points to get ourselves the new armor. But now, in order to do this, we need to defeat probably a few more bosses or we could defeat all of the love... Oh, my God. Wait. Oh, my gosh. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, the Wooloos. The Wooloos. The sheep are going to go. Oh, oh, please. I really want to. I hope that they attack. Oh, here they come. Uh, defend. Uh, right. We do need to talk about this because Lambos. Ah, what is going on? Right. Right. We do need to. We do need to talk about that because. Okay. So essentially what we've gathered from this is that the Wooloos are useless, which is a real shame because I thought that Wooloos in a minigun would look quite funny. But, um, great. Yeah. Cheers for that Wooloos. Honestly, um, really, really stupid. Assault rifle go. Oh no. We just used a legendary sphere. Whoops. Oh dear. Okay. Well, we just caught a really easy pal in a sphere that was legendary. Uh, anyways, will this dungeon be the one that puts me over the edge to the amount of XP I need? Right. We do. Yeah, we got it. And there we go. We have finally done it. We are level 48, which means that we can enhance our player stats to get a bit more HP. We can now unlock heat resistant pal metal armor. Perfect. Okay. Okay. So I just unlocked a new area in the map while I was trying to find a point to travel home. And I found the sand dunes entrance. Now, in this area straight away, we found a dinosaur lux, which looks insane. And also a fire version of what we already have. Now, let's see. Is that going to kill it? I hope not. Oh, yes. It didn't kill it. Okay. Come on. Surely that catches. I really want this guy. Come on. Yes. Come on. Now let's go ahead and get this guy over here as well. Get him down nice and low. And that is a 98% capture rate, which should be all good. There we go. I want, I want electric dog. There's one. Will we have two? Come on. I'll throw one more ball. If he doesn't catch, we're going to kill it. Okay. Sorry. Now I meant... I meant one more. I want one more. I want, I want one more. One more, one more. One more, one more. Yes, it was worth it. Let's go. There are so many cool pals around this area. What? Okay, we have to catch that guy. So we just came across a dune shelter and we've got a Pidef goodie two shoes and a grunt. I wonder if this is like a base of some sort. Is there any other guards in here? No, it's just the front two. That's interesting. Okay. Oh no, there is someone else here. Hang on. A wandering merchant. What do you sell? Ooh. Oh, rifle ammo. Wait, this is so good. Question is, do we just like buy max ammo? Hang on, let's check with this guy first. Ooh. Okay, so this guy actually will sell us a bunch of different moves and also mega spheres. I think we just go ahead and we buy a bunch of ammo, right? I mean, we could buy a musket, but like, who wants a musket when you could just buy this? You know what? Let's just do it. Yes! Oh, we have so much ammo now. Let's go. We're, we're going to catch him. Oh, no. I killed him. Ah! No, I killed them both. <laughs> well, that didn't end well. Uh, Not good. Not good. Not good. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Ah! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, okay. So we've just come across... A black marketeer. Hello. Uh, he doesn't look creepy at all. What the? All right. So let's talk to the black marketeer guy. Let's see what he says. It's a shame that we just, you know, used all of our coinage. Uh, anything interesting? No, not really. Okay. That is very handy to know about this guy. Okay. Let's take him on. Come on, Anubis. What is that? He has a minigun. Right. We'll deal with the hell, Zephyr. Anubis, you deal with the marketeer. Go. Sphere! Yes! Okay, we caught the Black Marketeer's pet. Okay, that's pretty low. Come on, Black Marketeer. Join me, brava! Yes? Yes! Come on! We got the Black Marketeer. And oh my gosh, 39,000 coins. <laughs> Wait, what? Not that I condone catching people, I will say that much. But, um, you know, if they're going to drop 39,000 coins in Power World, I mean, that's all I'm saying. You already know I'm going to have to catch them. 
Oh dear, that sounds horrendous. I'm gonna just be quiet now. All right, we've made it to the PIDF tower. Okay. I just don't know how powerful this tower is gonna be is the problem. Like, because I would love to go in and just do it. But I'm really worried that it's going to be really difficult. All right, we headed back to base because I'm just... I don't know how we're going to take out those towers. So I'm assuming that that tower that we were at just now is like an electric or it is some form of fire because obviously it was in the desert. So what team can we make up that would help us in that situation? Um, and I'm thinking maybe we bring in a Zurobe would be helpful maybe um you're not gonna be helpful unfortunately uh we have the black market here he's gonna be very helpful <laughs> um who else do we want to bring in though i think maybe german tide would be amazing to bring in okay so we've got a bunch of eggs that we need to open up first we're gonna open all these up see if we get anything good and then we're gonna head over and challenge a tower all right so we've opened up all the eggs and now it is time to prepare for the final catch attempt the final catch and also to prepare to take on a tower now to start with we're gonna make ourselves some heat resistant pal metal armor come on now and finally we need to make ourselves a bunch more of the legendary spheres okay we're gonna go out exploring to get some bones get ourselves some cement get ready to fight the tower and take on the boss i think i'm going to take on the boss first and try and catch it then we'll head up to any of the towers we've got this tower this tower and this tower to take on all right now this raid sounds important syndicate legends are about to appear let's use ignis rage get the flare storm going oh no they're making it into the base no come on take him out take him out ah okay we take down these ones we got loads more coming in though come on go Whew. okay we take them all down that was very close. Whew, that was very scary. One last check of the Anubis. Let's see if we have enough to do another upgrade. Being honest, I don't think we do. Uh, but I will have a little check to see if we can potentially get a four-star Anubis before we take any of these things on. And we do need some medium power souls in order to keep going with this, which is a big shame because we don't really have any more. So I think what we're going to do is we will up your attack a bunch. There we go. Perfect. We'll up your attack a bunch as well. There we go. And then we'll up your defense too. Perfect. All right. So if we jump into here, let's see if we can upgrade this Anubis any more. Well, we won't be able to upgrade Anubis to the max, unfortunately. It would make his stats very, very powerful. But it is time. We need to say goodbye to our base. It's been real. But this may be the last time that we come back. Let's jump up on the roof real quick just to see everything that we have created here today. In this video, 100 days in Power World. We made our good base, of course. <laughs> the remains of our ranch, which got completely obliterated. And I don't even know how, which really, really does suck. Finally, we have our coal and iron base, which has been doing really well. It is standing very, very strong up on the top of this hill. Looking really good. This base is amazing. All of our other bases were amazing too. And it's finally finally make sure you comment down below what your favorite part of this 100 days was and if you want to see me do another one please 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 do let me know by hitting the sub button hitting the like button and commenting down below that you want to see me do this again the destroyed mine shaft let's head on inside <sighs> okay we've killed this thing twice so i know that we can do it it's more now just a case of can we catch it and honestly i got a great feeling about this i feel like we've got a great chance astagon let's do this there he is go on anubis make us proud my friend make us proud stomp Big damage to start with. That is amazing. Now we're going to do exactly what we did last time and stay back and let Anubis do the damage. Okay, let's get him low with the rest of ourselves. Whoa! Okay. Be careful, be careful. Time to start throwing. It's time to start throwing hands. But right, we got a chance. 11% chance. Okay, that's our last one. On to the legendaries now. Yes! Come on! Let's go! We caught Astagon. And it's a ferocious one as well. Oh, that's so good time for the next one okay we're taking a detour we're taking a detour i just went into the technology thing and i saw a new saddle that we can create oh okay hang on where is it where is it uh here powdium fragments we have loads we have loads yes 
<laughs> we are going to be riding on Astagon. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, now this is something I'm excited for. And we can ride this beast. <laughs> look at this. <gasps> oh my god, look at him. Oh my god, look at him. Look at him. <laughs> yes. And uh, here we are. We have found a Jetragon. Now let's fight him. Let's bring him over here and let's take this bad boy on. Okay, now he, hopefully he'll be stuck right there so we can attack him nice and easily. Okay, perfect. Now we are just going to simply attack this guy, hopefully get the burn on him and just take him nice and low. And then we're going to begin the catching phase. Almost down to 5k health. We're just about hitting the halfway mark, guys. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the like button for this cheesy strat that we're doing right now to catch the legendary Jetragon. Okay, this is the point where we have to start catching now because he hurt me big time. He killed my team. He killed my pal, Suzuku. No. Ah! Yes! Yes! Come on! We did it! We caught Jetragon. Woo! That was crazy. That was absolutely crazy, man. Oh my gosh. Okay, now that we've done that, there's no taking a break here. It's time for our final test. Let's head home, grab our Jetragon, and we're going to head straight to a new tower. And if we can successfully survive this next tower, that means we'll have two more towers to complete plus discover the mystery of the giant tree. Now, if you guys do want to see me continue this series and continue up to 200 days or maybe even 300 days getting a bunch of perfect pals, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. That was intense. And here it is, the legendary Jetragon. Here we go. Let's add him to the team. Let's throw him out. Look how cool he looks. Now let's check his stats real quick. So it looks like he has legend, which is plus 20 attack, defense, and 50% extra movement speed, and divine dragon, which is a 20% increase to dragon attack damage, which is amazing. But he is a slacker so that's annoying uh now in order to get his so in order to get ourselves the jetragon saddle it looks like we do need to be a level 50 and we ain't quite there yet so unfortunately we aren't gonna be able to jet around on him just yet we need one more level which is crazy hopefully we can get this if we do come out of this tower victorious Let's get prepared. Let's head over to the tower. Now, I have no idea how difficult this is going to be. I don't know if it's the hardest one. I don't know if it's the easiest one, but we're going to take it on. I have got all of my guys fully healed up and fully fed. I've got some marinated mushrooms that will improve my defense. I've got the omelets for attack and I've got the salads to mean that I will have better work speed for a period of time. Only reason I really got these was for the nutrition value, which is 84. The final boss for this 100 days. Here he is. Oh, I want that so bad. I don't know what it is, but I want it. The electric Garchomp. Oh no, Axel and Orzerk. Okay, the electric Garchomp. I need this. I want this so bad. Okay, right. Let's start it. Go. We hide behind the walls. Oh my gosh. Okay, we got out of it. Whew. Big damage right here from the boys. Ashagon is doing bits. You know what? We're going to switch it up. We're going to bring in Anubis. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh, Anubis does big damage. Okay, this is amazing. Come on, Anubis. That was close. Look at the damage. Let's go. Let's bring him back. We're doing the smart thing. Let's bring out Jetragon. See what he can do. Oh, <laughs> Look at the damage. And we've got the burn as well. That's huge. Oh my God, Jetragon. The goat. My goat. Axel, my friend, you're going down. Look at the jukes. Look at him go. Oh. <laughs> the jukes. I don't know if that's on purpose or not, but I love it. Right, we're switching him back out because he seemed a bit, a bit too jetty there. Ah! Ah! Oh, that was close. Holy. Holy smokes. Oh, Jetragon looks so cool. We pull him back. Watch this. And then we switch back out into Anubis. Hey, so we can stop his big attack from actually hurting us. It's very, very smart ideas that are going to get us through this. Come on. I'm almost out of ammo as well. Oh, no. He's coming for me. Oh, Anubis. Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice. Come on. We're almost out of ammo. We're about to be useless in this fight. Get out of the area. Pull Anubis in. Throw Jetragon out. Okay, perfect. We've got the, we've got the rhythm in sync now. 
We know what we're doing. Seven more bullets. Make them count. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I really didn't make them count, but hey-ho. Come on, Jetragon. Big damage. Okay, we're almost there. Come on. I love my measly amount of damage I do with my bow. Right, Anubis. We're finishing it how we started it. Me and Anubis. He was my first good pal. He's been with me since day one. Well, not literally day one, but he's stayed in the team since I got him. And he's going to be the one that finishes this battle with me. We're so close. Come on, Anubis. Bring him back to get rid of the acid rain. Put him back out. Ah, that was so close. Ah. Come on, 8,000 health left. We've got four minutes left. We've got this. Anubis, finish him. Come on, buddy. Yes. There we go. And now if you want to see me finish off every single boss tower and discover the mystery of the giant tree... Well, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. This has been 100 Days of Power World, and hopefully I'll see you guys in 200 days. Peace! Woohoo!